2003. Beautifully bowled, and it's got through to Boucher. Yes, and out. There wasn't a great deal of consistency in that, uh, in that appeal. Boucher sort of held it up, and he, he, can, he has been known to throw it very, very high. But uh, we'll soon see. Umpire Harper made the decision. Four for one. <laughs> The Heinz isn't convinced. Wow. No wonder he wasn't convinced. It's four for one. There's a bit of width and he's dragged it on, would you believe it? Pollock strikes again. And it's Gale now who makes his way back to the pavilion. Certainly not the best of starts for the West Indies. He got that with that Robin Jackman was talking about. It was full as well. That was what tempted him to go for the shot. But I think he just suspected that this might have gone a bit further than it did. You can see that it hit the inside edge. He was expecting that ball to continue moving with the natural angle and a bit of movement. Didn't quite move as much. It's seven for two. Good shot. That's a very good shot. That's well in front of square the leg side for four. Well played. Slightly short from Donald. It's in the air. Sean Pollock is uh, going back pretty slowly. It's a very, very good shot. It's gone all the way for six, that one. That is a terrific shot. It's a very good shot. And it's gone for four. So that's well played. Just slightly wide, slightly short from Callis, and Lara's punished that. Driven through extra cover with power from Lara. Callis not pleased, but no bowler is. Called for two, and he's going to get at least two. In fact, he's going to get four. More wonderful timing from the West Indian champion. It's a great shot from Lara. He won't have to chase that. That's another great shot, and we'll go for four. 49 runs in the last 10 overs, and four off the first ball of the 11th, if you like, in that sequence. And really, Brian Lara on fire now. Quicker ball. This time he uh, gets away fairly fine for four, so that's a good shot, and what a good over by the West Indies. They'll be very, very pleased with that. 12 runs from the over, 30 gone, 105 for two. Now there's a nick, I think, there certainly was a noise, they've all gone up, and yes, so has the finger from umpire Daryl Harper. Shimron Chandapur goes, Lance Clues is the man that's picked him up, and a good catch, bit of extra bounce, a very good catch from Mark Boucher. I think Chandapur knew that he had to go. I think even before the umpire raised his finger, he was thinking about going. A bit obvious that sound going through the wicket keeper. Good ball, it bounced a bit awkwardly at Jim Narayan the pole. You can see him there opening the face, trying to steer it down to the third man region. Harper just gives a quick nod and then the raised finger. So, not quite what the West Indies needed at this point, but not a bad inning from Chandra Paul. It's 109 for three. Fiercely struck and somehow. And Tini gets out of the way because that would have carried him and the ball to the boundary. That was a fair shot by Lara. It came like a shot from a gun. Here's Klusner. Resumes to Lara. And Lara is punched away for four. That's a fine shot by the left-hander. Just enough width, just short enough of length. And he found the gap and put it away for four. And that's going all the way. That's gone for six. Well, I said it a while ago, and I'll say it again, vintage Lara. He just flicked it. And there it is. Brian Lara. Puts his signature immediately on the 2003 World Cup. And not only West Indians in the crowd, but everyone.
around this Newland Stadium, standing to a man and uh, appreciating what has been a tremendous innings, a vital innings for the West Indies from a tremendous batsman. Well, it's just whipped away, it could be caught. And it is. Jack Callis has taken the catch and taken it well. Never easy with that white ball. It's the blue sky background. Callis uh, didn't get hold of it. Hooper back in the pavilion for 40, 198 for four. Well, this could be out, should be out. It's gone for the big hit. And it's caught in the end by Sean Pollock, the captain. But I thought for a minute we've got it wrong. Brian Lara, his innings comes to an end. It's been magnificent, compelling viewing. The career best for him in the World Cup, 116. But in the end, an excellent catch. Brilliant, Brian Lara. Take a bow. This has been a sensational knock. Came in at a very difficult situation and just played absolutely superbly. Almost caught first ball, and that was the only little streaky shot he had. But he's played quite magnificently. In the end, out to a good uh, catch from Sean Pollock. He was telling Lance Kluzner to get away from him, but took his eyes off the ball, and in the end, had to dive forward. 116 for Brian Lara, 215 for five. Well, that's clubbed away, and that's gone all the way. Came down the wicket. And was just baseballed it over mid wicket. Yes, over left field for a home run. Oh, that's smashed straight down the ground for six more. Carter Powell is saying, let's have some fun. That's beautifully placed as well. This could be four more. It is. What a magnificent over for the West Indians. 23 runs from Sean Pollock's ninth over. Eight overs, two for 20, nine overs, two for 43. It's 246 for five. Well, whipped away, but over the man at mid wicket, and it's going to go for four. This is the makings of another very good over. Well, it's a slower ball, but it's been spotted, and it's been clubbed a long way. Magnificent batting. This really is. You can't say that the South Africans have bowled that poorly. Well, that's slashed away, and that's four. 50 overs gone, 279 for five. And when you consider that after 25 overs, the West Indies were 67 for two. 212 runs coming in the last 25 overs. The loss of just three wickets. Magnificent batting. This little partnership here worth 64 from just 28 deliveries. South Africa need 279 and a run rate of 5.69. Great shot, terrific shot, off the mark. It's a good shot, that is well played. Four runs, slightly short and punished. And he's caught behind, well taken by Jacobs. Deserving wicket for Dillon and a big wicket for the West Indies. A good delivery and Herschel Gibbs goes. Herschel Gibbs has gone for a brisk 24. It's 46 for one. That's a good shot. That is a very good shot. Back to that question in a minute. And that's a brilliant shot. And that's a good shot from Dippenau. It might go up into the stand. And it does. Could be close. Yes, he's walking. Brilliant comeback from Carl Hooper. Just got it to drift away from the right hander, thinking in the back of his mind, Dip and I, that he might go again. He just hit him for six. A little bit of lapse in concentration, and he's paid the penalty. Very clever bowling indeed. Down the wicket, one ball, and four rows back over mid off. And the next ball prepared. Just try something a little bit different. Came at him again, straight on, and he didn't even have to think about getting back. He tried to get his toe back over the line, knew he hadn't, didn't wait for a decision. Dipinar goes, stumped by Jacobs off the bowling of Hooper for 20. A 
That's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful strike. Oh, that's a great shot. That is a great shot. My goodness me, what style. Gone, good catch. Ridley Jakes was taking a very good catch, going a long way to his right, and that is a huge wicket. Jacques Callis, we know, is a fine player, but he's going to start his long track. You can only imagine this is the precise line he was asked to bowl. Pedro Collins. Perfect length going across Jacques Callis. The field was tight on the offside that made Callis look for a smaller gap. He worked hard at it, but all he could get was an outside edge, and Ridley Jacobs takes his second diving catch. Collins is that the bounce back that the West Indies needed. Callis disappears for 13. I think chopped it on. Carl Hooper's done it. The quicker ball, the slider from him, smile as well. I'm not surprised. And Rhodes is on his way back to Pavilion as well. The shuffle of the feet. Johnny Rhodes looks to come out of the crease. Hooper spots it, fires in the fast one. And the luck is on their side this time. Johnny Rhodes just makes a movement. There, out he comes. No, he's going to go back. Cramped. Too close to cut. Good bowling by Hooper. Ridley Jacobs goes off, and so does Johnny Rhodes. It's four for 117. In the air, there's a fieldsman there. He slipped. And it's gone over the top for six. Softest of dismissals. It's worked. Merv Dillon was brought back to get a wicket, and he's done it. Leading edge from Gary Kirsten looking to just work it on the leg side. Well, they don't come much more gentle than that. It's 155 for five. Take it outside. That's another wicket. He's not going. Sean Pollock finally has decided to go with it. the nod from the umpire. And that's a big wicket. Well, it's not only a big wicket. I think the West Indies is now thinking victory. What a massive start for them in this competition. Good catch. Thrown up. Scale. Sean Pollock goes for the drive. Carl Hooper, the captain, takes an excellent catch. Good hands. Good catch. Big wicket. Sean Pollock on his way back. He's gone for four. It's 160 for six. It's up in the air, there's a man back there, but he isn't tall enough. Six to Boucher. And again. Big over this for South Africa. Four more to Boucher. He's got this one away, it's got past the short fine leg, but it will be cut off by the man back at uh, deep backward square leg who had to make 40 50 yards to his left. Up comes the 200, greeted by this capacity crowd. Oh! Bowled him out. Boucher goes for 49 and surely to the match from a South African point of view. Unluckily called for a wide the ball before, but he follows it up with a fast Yorker. Fast, Yorker, perfect, Boucher, not sure whether to sweep, drive, or defend. He manages none. And the ball cannons into leg stump. Boucher's disappointed. That does bring Nicky Boyer on into the arena. He's gone for 49 from 49. 204 for seven. Smeared away! Six. Kluzner. Is he South Africa's last chance? There's Klusner. He's got him. And he's gone. He's gone all the way. As Barry Richards was mentioning, this is a dangerous fella out there. Lance Klusner. The world knows it. The West Indies know it. That's a big one again. That's gone.
advance even further. So a couple of sixes here by Lance Klusner. The Zulu. He's pulled that away and taken. He's taken down a deep backwards for a leg. Klusner's gone. Is that the match? Now let's see if he's gone onto the rope. The fielder is down there. They're going to investigate. Klusner was on his way. He thought he had gone. Oh, I think he's okay. Is he? That's the one where he jumps and onto the rope. Pedro Collins, what are you doing? Uh -huh. The umpires are going to signal six, I think. Third six of the innings. Casual work by Collins. That'll go for four. So the momentum now shifting towards South Africa. But the West Indies know here that all they need is a wicket. They still need 31 more, South Africa. Kuzma's gone, that's another one. That's a big six. Gale's spell is finished with Kuzma's fifth six. It brings South Africa within 14 of their target. They need just uh, two overs now, 265 for seven. That's his 50, and what a way to get his 50. He raises his bat. South African flags flying all around the ground. Clapped away, it's gonna go for six, it's taken. Carl Hooper it is in exactly the position that Vasper Drakes asked him to go to. All the West Indians are rushing to their captain. Now, Makaya and Tini will have to come in, but the batsman crossed, so Nicky Boyer will have the strike, who has been in for some time. Still, eight required of three deliveries. Now, Lance Klusner, he's gone. I said the next two balls would be vital. And one of them was a dot ball. And then this one, it swirled in the wind. And you see Carl Hooper there, kept his eyes on it all the way. And that's the position they should have had a man from almost the first ball. Delight on the West Indian faces. Disappointment for Klusner, but he's played really well. Out for 57. 271 for eight. It's in the air, it's high, it could go for six or it could be caught, it is caught. So the West Indies have basically won the match as Sawan takes the catch and jubilant West Indians run out to embrace Ramnaresh Sawan as Makai Antini striking the ball in the air, near six, but near sixes don't count. They're going to rue that moment where Lance Klusner didn't cross with Nicky Boyer. It's very hard for a lower and tail end batsman to come in and hit boundaries. Makai Antini did his best. He got it quite a long way. In fact, only a yard or two from the boundary. That's his hitting area. I think in the air, he might have thought it was going all the way. And this is a good catch by Sawan. Judged it beautifully. Nearly made a mess of it. But in the end, he knows. That's the victory. Antini departs. 271 for nine. It's in the air, down towards fine leg. They've just got to run for it. No, it goes for four, but the West Indies have won it. Barely, but they've won it. And there are the celebrations.